I want to show you some aerial video from a live pigeon shoot at the Philadelphia Gun Club, or PGC. The PGC is a haven for unethical one percenters. These people have a lot of money, but as you're about to see, no ethics and precious little competence when it comes to shooting. Let's watch this shooter. He gets five pigeons tossed out one at a time from boxes in front of him, yet he will only down one of them. The shooter isn't good enough to make a square hit, but it is likely that a number of his victims are injured. Those victims will come down somewhere else. Some of them will fall in the river, boarding the property where they will drown. There's pigeon number one, who escapes. Wounded escapees falling on surrounding property will slowly succumb to their wounds, exposure, predation, hunger, or thirst. There's pigeon number two, who escapes. Even for the pigeons who escape uninjured, they are unlikely to survive. The birds are brought in emaciated and starving, which explains why they fly so slowly when catapulted. There's pigeon number three, who escapes. By the way, none of the retrieved birds are eaten. They're utterly wasted. There's pigeon number four, who is hit and dropped, and our brave pigeon killer must be very proud. Look at that. Another pigeon lands by the wounded one, showing more compassion and dignity than that whole sick club combined. A lackey retrieves the one pigeon this guy squarely hit. Now we'll show you a number of retrievals, and you'll know just how many birds were downed versus how many escaped. As you will see, only one or two pigeons are retrieved after each contestant, meaning these guys can't shoot for squat. We'll double the video speed so you can see a few extra clips. That's two for five. One for five. One for five. Two for five. Two for five. One for five. One for five. Two for five. Two for five. Two for five. One for five. Two for five. Nineteen out of sixty birds down. Less than a third. That's some record, isn't it? So you hunters and other gun owners, you say you're concerned about threats to your Second Amendment rights? Well, these cruel, narcissistic, and morally bankrupt people couldn't possibly do more to promote gun control efforts. But the real kicker is that pigeon shoots are already illegal in Pennsylvania and would have been prosecuted long ago, but for the bullying of the National Rifle Association. You know, the guys who are constantly screaming that our guns are going to be taken away from us? Just ask the NRA's Pennsylvania lobbyist, John Hohenwarder, who is more than happy to take credit for keeping pigeon shooters from being properly prosecuted as the animal-abusing cowards they are. This is Steve Hindy for showing animals respect and kindness.